Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So here we'll try to find out the excavation quantity for the footing. Okay. So before we start that, we need to write down the names of the footing, isn't it? See, this is a structural drawing what I have. So it's a foundation layout. So here everything is mentioned like this is F1 footing, then this is F6 footing, F8, F3, 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 F2, and so on. Okay. So this is one way. Other way is that you can find the size. Like size is not mentioned here. For the size, you have to refer the table. Okay. So the same thing they mentioned it here called a schedule of tape footing. In that again, the serial number is given. Name of the footing they have written like F1, F2, F3, and so on. And how many F1 footings are there? That is also written. And the size of the footing is written. Now what we are supposed to do is we'll write the same thing in the Excel sheet for our understanding. Otherwise, every time I have to come to the AutoCAD and do that, which is practically not possible. Okay. So first, what we can do is directly we'll write the name like F1 footing, this particular size that is 1200 by 1200 by depth. Also, I can write there, which is 400. Okay. 400 mm. So what you can do, I'll do one simple trick. Now I'll go to the Excel sheet and I have to write it here. Okay. Like item description. The first one is a excavation quantity. Okay. Excavation. Uh, yeah, quantity excavation quantity. Oh, this is the first item what I have. The same thing I written it here. So you can write here like earthwork in excavation. That also you can write instead of writing excavation quantity, you can write earthwork in excavation. Right, earthwork in excavation. And I'll bring it at the center. This is my center. And then you can increase, uh, you can chain that, increase the size of that, and then you can make it as bold. Okay. So this is my first quantity. I'll write serial number 01. I've written 01. We can bring it at the center also. So this is at the center. Now, this is that quantity. I mean, this is the main heading now. Under that, I have to write F1, F2, F3 footings and all. Okay. So quickly, uh, let me write that. Now, every time I'm going to write it here, it's difficult, isn't it? So what I can do, the best practice, what you can do is go to this again. You take a screenshot of this screenshot in the sense you have to uh, click the shift. Let me do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What you can, yeah. So what you can do shift then the window page and the S button you have to click. Okay. I'll take a screenshot of this so that it is easy for me. Now I'll click. Okay. I selected that. I'll go to the Excel and I'll say control V. So I'll paste it here. So now it is easy for me to, you know, look here and directly do the input here. I'll repeat that once again, you go to the AutoCAD. Okay. So here, see your two options. Otherwise you can go to the search option. There's one option called a snipping tool SNI. Click snipping tool here. Click on that snipping tool. It will open up. Okay. And go to this option called as new. Select on that. Now this, uh, you know, the screen will be, uh, get freezed. And now from here, you drag your mouse in this way. Okay. So once you drag in this way, done. It will be selected. You say control S here. Keep your mouse and say control S. So once you do control S, this is not required. You don't have to save this. Directly come to the Excel and you paste here control V. You can see it has got pasted here. So this is what you can follow so that now quickly. Okay. I'll do that now. Yeah, I'll do it here. Okay. I'll start from here. What is my first footing F1 footing. Okay. And what is the size of that? See size. I'll write in this way. Length is 1200. Uh, breadth is also 1200 and depth is 400. So you can write like 1200 cross 1200 cross 400. Okay. F1 is done. Similarly, go for F2. Similarly, go for F2. Again, what is the size of F2? Again, it is 1400. For multiplication, use this multiplication. Use the X symbol on your keyboard. Okay. X. Okay. 1400. Again, this is also 1400. And this is 400. Okay. So it will take some time, but you try to do the Excel sheet on your own. I won't be sharing my Excel sheet because this is my second course on the quantity estimation where I want you to have a hands on experience on this. So that is why. I won't be sharing my Excel sheets. You have to prepare your own Excel sheet so that when you go for any interview or when you get a job anywhere, 
they'll definitely ask you to prepare all these Excel sheets on you on your own. Okay, there won't be anyone to help you out, or there won't be anyone who will come and do this Excel sheet on behalf of you. It is you who have to do all these things. That is why I won't share my Excel sheet. Okay, you have to prepare on. It will take time. That is why I'm doing right in front of you, and I'm not missing anything here. Okay, I reached up to F5, then I'll go F6. So for F6, he has written. He has written. See the plan. I'll come to the F6 part later. I'll go with F7 now. Okay, go for F7. Again, it is 1300 cross 1300 cross 400. Next, F8. So F8 is uh yeah. 1550 plus 1550 and multiply by 400. And the last one is F9, isn't it? The last one is 1100, 1100 cross 1750 cross 400. Done. Everything is done. F6 is missing. What they have mentioned, they have mentioned for F6, you have to see the plan. So maybe it's a, a kind of an irregular footing or it may be a rectangular footing. In that case, they will write in that way. So I written C plan. No problem. I'll go to the plan part. So this is my F6 footing. Okay. So you can see it here. This is F6. They're not given the size. So since I'm using AutoCAD, I'll go to this option called as, you can see linear. Or there's one option called as dimension. You click on this dimension and you select the dimension. See, already it is showing 3000. I can select from here to here. Okay. And I'll drag my mouse down. So this is 3000. In the same way, I need to check this part also. So in AutoCAD, you can go back to the same option called dimensions. Otherwise, make use of a space bar. Okay. The big button, what you have on your keyboard, it is called a space bar. Whenever you click a space bar, it will uh, it will take the previous uh, tool what you have taken. We took the measurement one, right? Again, I'll click on the space bar. Again, directly I'll keep my mouse here. I'll keep my mouse here also. I'll bring it here. So it is. Uh, 3000 by 3000 is your size of your footing. Okay. That is how it is. Otherwise, even they have given a dimension here 1900 plus 550 plus 550. 550 plus 550 comes out to be 1100. 1100 plus 1900 comes out to be 3000. Again, 2000 plus 500 plus 500 comes out to be 3000. So, size already I have got from here. So, what I'll do? Yeah. So, what I'm going to do? I input the same size in the Excel sheet now. Go back to the Excel sheet. So my F6 footing is 300 cross by 300. Sorry, 3000 cross by 3000. And what is the depth? Depth part is already mentioned. No, Depth is 500. So you write it as 500. Done. Got it? So all these things are done. This is no more required for me. I can delete this part. Okay. I'll say delete. I'll click on I'll delete. Now again, it's not looking good, isn't it? I'll select everything. I'll bring them at the center. This is a center option. Bring them at the center. Then you can make it as a bold. And if you want to change that uh, this thing font, you can go. I'll go with this part. Okay. Now it looks good. If you want to increase the size, increase the size. Okay. Now it looks good, isn't it? Now coming to the units part. What is the units of the excavation? Always the excavation units will be done in cubic meter because you have a length, you have a breadth, and you require a depth. So it, it comes out to be in cubic meter. So I'll write cubic meter as CUM. CUM means it's called as cubic meter, or even you can write meter cube in this way okay you can write you can write yeah you can write meter cube how do you write that m and to the power you have to write so for the power you can write in this way okay otherwise you write it in the word format and you can bring it here so both the way you can write either you write cum cubic meter or you can write this as cubic meter okay one and the same doesn't matter. So once you've written that, I'll write only CUM. It's understood. Okay. CUM is understood. I'll select that and then I'll drag it in this way so that everywhere it will come. You can see again, I'll do it. I've written for one. I'll cl click here. Okay. This particular portion and drag your mouse. Now you can see everywhere cubic meter has come. Again, this has gone to the side, isn't it? Select everything and then bring it at the center. See, you can do it now in this way. Or once everything is done, then also you can follow that. It all depends on you. Okay. Now coming to the members. This is very important. What is this number of member? Like F1 footing. How many F1 footings are there? For that, again, I'll go to the AutoCAD plan. So you have two options. If you are lucky, few people mention that here. Like you see, numbers, this guy has mentioned. Like F1, 
there is one number f2 there is three number f3 there is four number f4 there is two number f5 three f6 one f7 three f8 three f9 one that means f9 one footing is there f6 f7 three foot three footings are there so not every not all the structure consultant are going to mention all these things in that case as a quantity surveyor we're supposed to come and do the checking here so right now i'll do that for you okay i'll start with f1 footing so now see whenever you're trying to find you, know, you have to follow one pattern either you start from left to right or you start from right to left okay that is what you are you cannot randomly go like f1 is one one f1 is here okay second f1 that you cannot do you start from the bottom left and go in this way left to right left to right you go left to right from bottom to top you go or you start from the top and come to the bottom it all depends on you we'll start from the top only not an issue i'll from i'll start from the top first footing from left to right i'll go okay i want to find f1 footing how many numbers are there you see this is f7 footing this is not required for me next i'll come to the next footing this is f8 this is also not required this is f2 not required f9 this is also not required again once see left to right i done next i'll come here f7 not required okay here there is nothing next i'll come here f3 f5 f5 this is also not required then next is f7 f8 this is also not required then f2 f4 f5 f4 not required why because my i require f1 footing no f2 f3 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 this is also not required ah now you see here is one f1 footing no so this is one f1 footing count it but here this is f6 footing this is f8 footing done that means in entire plan only one f1 footing is there that is why this guy the person who prepared this drawing he has given one so now what we'll do in the excel sheet we'll do the same input here i'll say 0 1 okay now i'll go for f2 footing again for f2 footing come here uh, come to the f2 footing again see by default this guy has written 3 but we'll count it okay i'll teach you for one or two rest things you do it i'll be sharing this uh, autocad file with you you can practice it i'll i'll search for the f3 footing again same thing start from the top left f7 f8 f2 okay f2 there is one footing remember one otherwise yeah one next this is f9 footing not required f7 f3 f5 f5 again f7 f8 f2 so two footings are done done two okay f4 f5 f4 again another footing is there f2 here three are done rest all f3 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 f1 this is f6 f8 that means this entire plan there are three f2 footing that is why the same thing was mentioned here three so what i am going to do i'll go to the excel sheet i'll say three got it so in this way now you take a small assignment what you do you i'll be sharing this plan with you you try to count everything and you then come and input it here on your excel sheet but now in order to save the time i'll copy the same thing from here onwards because because i don't have to waste so much of my time in doing all those things so i'll copy from here okay but let us verify for f3 footing later again i'll copy this so what i can do quickly uh yeah again i'll take this screenshot okay so that it is easy for me i'll go to the excel i'll say control v now directly it is easy for me no yeah f3 how much 4 is there uh, f4 f4 there are 2 f5 there are yeah f5 there are 3 f6 there is 1 uh, f7 there is 3 uh, f8 there is 3 uh, and f9 there is 1 done is it simple i'll delete this now okay now yeah yeah this is done up to here your concepts are clear now let me verify for one footing quickly i'll verify for one footing i'll go with no i'll verify f3 footing f3 has mentioned four no i'll quickly verify f3 okay is there any f3 footing here no there is no f3 here yeah there is one f3 again uh, there is no f3 here there is another f3 here two another f3 here uh, three another f3 here four are done okay then is there anything yeah f1 f6 and f8 nothing so there are four f3 footings that is why the four has come here very simple try to do it on your own up to here your concepts are clear you can even bring this at the center okay bring at the center no problem yeah now coming to the length part see for the length part what you are supposed this is a footing size but we are trying to find the excavation quantity you can make it in a different color to uh, separate it from that i'll keep it in uh, blue color okay 
and let me make it a bit bold. Yeah, excavation, earthwork in excavation. So I require the length now, isn't it? So this is a footing side, but whenever we do the excavation, I always told you that we have to take a PCC offset and we have to take the working space and then we have to measure the length. Similarly for the width, we are supposed to do that. Okay, so in the next lecture, I'll explain you with the help of a photograph, how this length, the width and the depth has to be taken care of. And then we'll try to find the entire excavation quantity for this footing. Okay, try to prepare the Excel sheet up to here and also try to complete this particular thing without uh, copying from here. Try to manually uh, count the number of footings from the AutoCAD file and uh, try to do that. Okay, so we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.